This is probably the most frustrating thing about this machine. Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Ralph. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Grandpa. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the Veggie Boys, and we want to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everyone. We've been dealing with a little bit of rain today, and we're okay with the rain. Uh, yesterday, we planted peas, sweet corn, and some beans. Now, we are going to be planting a few more crops today. We're actually going to be planting our cabbage and broccoli, uh, but before we can do that, the soil has to be worked up, which is what Daniel's working on right now. While we've been working out in the fields, getting everything prepared to plant our vegetables, uh, the girls have been in here transplanting tomatoes. Now these pots all have different price ranges. These pots are $2.99 a piece. These are $1 a piece. And then these packs will sell for $2.99 a pack. I gotta go fix lunch. Hi, Kelly. So how long have you been down here transplanting for? For two days. I don't know what to tell you, these girls are machines. They just never stop working. You're not supposed to grab that part. Come on there, Ralph, kid. Come on. We're going to plant cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and whatever else we find on the wagon. I'm leaving, follow me, let's go. Ralph, get in the truck, come on, let's go. I don't know if he's grumpy or maybe he's got a little, you know, screw loose. The way we're gonna be planting all of our crops is this mechanical planner. We've had this mechanical planner for quite some time and it may not look the fanciest. Uh, I broke one of those chairs before. However, over the years, this machine has planted thousands and thousands of plants into our fields. Now, all the plants that we have on here, this is gonna be our early crop of cold crops. I'm really quickly gonna explain how this machine works. When we use the hydraulics in the tractor to set the machine down, these wheels drive these machines back here. These rotors run off of a chain. And as we put the plants into this little compartment, it will close up. Those little discs make a little furrow. As the plants come down the wheel, it puts it right into the soil, and then it closes the soil up behind it. Now, normally when we're using this machine, we would have some water with us. And as we're planting, we would water these crops. But if you can't tell, it's actually starting to rain a little bit. So we're not gonna need to water these. And we're expecting showers all afternoon. Does that mean we're going shirtless today? Now, as this mechanical planter comes around, you will see it opens up each of these fingers. So as I put the plant inside the fingers, it will close as the machine spins the wheel around. And then it only opens up again when the plant is in the soil. And what's really nice is that this machine spaces all the plants out evenly. So I don't have to worry that I'm planting some too close together or even some too far away. As we go through with the planter, you can see each plant is spaced equally. And that really helps when the plant starts to grow larger. That space gives each plant enough room for its roots to spread out and soak up all the water that it can. If you're planting everything so close together, then they're fighting for water and your plants aren't gonna get the size that you want them to. Call it Robbie? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move on to Green Magic then. Green Magic. We're refilling with plants right now. As you can see, the rows are planted really, really nice. This is such a wonderful method for planting. While we're planting on the machine, Ralph is walking behind 
and wherever there's little gaps like this one here he is filling in for us sometimes when the machine is going across uh, it will actually lift off the ground because the ground is uneven and remember the machine is driven by its wheels so whenever those little wheels are lifted off the ground the machine stops planting We just got the call to head back for lunch, but we've got three sets of rows here, and I think they look really, really nice. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much because we wanna try and get as much of this planted today as we can. All right, stop! <laughs> we just finished eating lunch. Now we wanna get out and get planting again. It's gonna start pouring shortly, so we wanna get as much planted as we can. Let's go! I'm still eating lunch. <laughs> Me? Anybody? I'm looking for charm. Can't the charm. They always say rain makes things beautiful. Should I take my hat off? Oh, he's not beautiful. <laughs> this is probably the most frustrating thing about this machine. Nope, I call lefty. Great, Ooh. now my butt's gonna be red. At least now, when I get up, everyone will think it's the water. Matt, the water's on. Okay. <laughs> it's called the rain. As you guys can see, we stole Matthew. So now he is helping us. I'm good, are you guys good? No, we're good. We're good. That means faster. That's when you stop for a moment, buddy. Okay. You good there, Cheeks? You call me Cheeks. Here, buddy meets. We are finishing up with cauliflower. So I'm just pulling the cabbage plants that we brought off the top of the planter. We always put our cabbage plants up here just so we can hold more. That way we don't have to keep grabbing plants after every row. to a few different varieties of cabbage. The rest of this wagon is literally all just cabbage. So we ran into a little bit of a problem. A seed order just showed up back at the farm market. Dad had to go home and take care of it. So instead of stopping and waiting for him to come back, we're planning with three people back there and I just hopped in the tractor. Chain came off the planter. Uh, Daniel's fixing it right now, and I got an umbrella now. It's really starting to rain hard out here. Now driving for the transplanter, it's not a hard job, but it's certainly not a fun job. And a bigger problem than that is everyone can see how straight your rows are, and if your rows aren't straight, they make fun of you for like the entirety of harvest. But that's okay, because it's just your family picking on you, so they don't count. Okay. Yep. All right, bye. Just got the call from Dad. He wants us to stop. Uh, but he told us to finish out this row. I don't think it's going to stop raining anytime soon and he doesn't want us out here while it's pouring. Boy, it's starting to get muddy. Starting to get sloppy. The field that we're in, it's starting to get a lot more moisture. Uh, it's not necessarily a wet field, but the problem starts when you're planting in that wet, wet soil with this machine. It gets everything caked up and the plants don't want to fall out. The only thing that's left here on the wagon is just some cabbage. It would have been really nice to get it all planted today, but the weather is not helping us out. That mechanical planter just has such a hard time with mud. The mud just seems to grab onto the planter. Uh, it won't open up the little furrows for the plants to drop down in. So it does become more and more of a challenge as you use it in the wet weather. You gotta really clean your hands after you use that machine. They get all dirty. 
since it's raining we came down into the greenhouse to help the girls they're only planting for a little bit longer but we got some peppers so we're gonna help them out You smell like peanut butter. I don't have peanut butter. I thought dad smelled like peanut butter, but apparently he's eating caramel instead. Andrew doesn't know what he's talking When we showed up, the girls were working on Serrano's. They're a hot pepper. Uh, we've got quite a few of them. And then we moved on to some snack peppers. I don't know exactly what they're called. They're like baby bell peppers. And we've got six 806s of them. Grammy moved on to sweet banana peppers. Before we can finish any other varieties of peppers, we need to fill up our 32s. Now we have a little system when we go from variety to variety. We know what sells best for each variety and we sell a lot of 32s for our bell peppers. So we've got bell peppers over there we need to finish planting and some other varieties. Can you read this label, Ralph? I can't, I can't um, read the words anymore. I can't read it either, Andrew, when he's shaking it like that. What, he think it's a dance party in here? Where's this attitude coming from? <laughs> Why is everyone so grouchy? No time for dance. When we plant these peppers into these 32s, these single pots, they actually grow much quicker than when we put them in the packs. And the reason for that is because they have more room for their roots. Now the roots branch out quicker in these little pots. They grab more moisture and they grab more nutrients from the soil because they're grabbing from a wider area. That's why we like to plant them in these 32s and that's why we're able to sell them for a dollar a plant. And a lot of people in our area just have small gardens, so they don't want six plants, they want just the one. So there, you can see the difference. This has a much smaller area, this has a larger area. Why are you playing my tray? What is your problem? Outside it is pouring like crazy. That's good, and we're glad it's raining, because yesterday we worked very hard. We planted a uh, second planting of peas, planted a first planting of green beans, yellow beans, and flat beans. Uh, we planted uh, the first planting of sweet corn on bare ground, so we got a lot planted yesterday, so the rain is good. Really? I'm surprised you're not sleeping. <laughs> Bob, I'd fire him if he wasn't my nephew. I'm like a protected species. Okay, we just got up to the house for dinner tonight. Lauren, tell us what we're having. Brian's favorite enchiladas. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. Hey, did you see what we're having for dinner tonight? Boiled chicken? Salad? I hope there's something good. Enchiladas! I love them! I thought we were having boiled chicken soup. So anyway, we're gonna get ready for dinner. So this is where we're gonna end the video today, guys. I wanna thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye! Bye-bye!